pinky to the pinky toe, punch under his under his arm or under his leg over your own arm. Make a fist. Keep your elbow tight to your body, your right elbow. BJJ for breakfast. What's up, everybody? Thank you for supporting the channel. If you like what you're seeing and you want more content, think about joining the BJJ for breakfast membership for just $4.99 a month. You get exclusive member only content and it'll give you a deeper understanding of each of the videos that I post each week. Take your skills to the next level. Thank you. E class, we're gonna be doing two techniques for defeating the knee shield. So James has me in the knee shield. The knee shield can be very frustrating. It's really hard to pass. So sometimes it's better to just say, screw it, I'm not gonna pass. I'm just gonna submit you from there, right? So we're gonna do a toe hold from here. This is one of my favorite things to do if you catch someone slipping. Best done when neither of you have any grips on each other and when his Knee shield is low. If his knee shield is real high, it makes it awkward to get back here. But if he's playing this low knee shield, especially if he's trying to cheat his, his knee kind of that way to uh, keep me from coming in, right? If I'm threatening to, to smash past him and he's just kind of like framing out here and not letting me get to him and maybe trying to take a break, right? We can grab, reach back, grab his toes. So take your pinky to his pinky toe. You're gonna look towards the foot that you want, right? So I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna punch underneath his leg and come to my own wrist, okay? Yeah, it's already on there pretty tight once you go there. And then remember, you're tucking your elbow to your chest and you're moving his toes. You're not moving his foot. I'm not pushing his foot towards his butt. I'm keeping his ankle in place and I'm curling his toes towards his butt, all right? It's like you're rolling up a newspaper or revving a motorcycle, okay? So we're here, this, this one is best like as soon as you get into the position. As soon as you get into the position, both guys are kind of like, okay, how are we gonna play this, right? Like, am I gonna sweep? Is he gonna try to pass? And before he really gets a chance to think about it, boom, it's on. And then roll, okay? So we're here. If I let him get a bunch of grips on my torso and stuff, right, there's no way for me to do it. So what you wanna do is as soon as like we're trying to pass and we land in this position, boom, go right to it. Look for it, even if it's not there, if I go here and he kicks his leg straight or something, well, that's gonna give me an opportunity to do something else or if he pulls his leg too shallow, right? If anything else, if nothing else, even if I don't do it, I'm not giving up any position. He's gonna do, he's gonna have to react. And then maybe that's an opportunity for a pass. But if he doesn't react in time, if he's slow to the punch, boom, okay? Fist on your own wrist, or you could use your, your hand. This fist technique really makes it tight. It really engages his ankle right away. So if you just punch to your own wrist, and then you're gonna roll his toes. Think about bringing his toes to his butt but you're keeping your elbow tucked tight because that's what traps, that locks this part in, and then you're just moving this part, yeah? Same thing other side. We're passing, we land here. Pinky to the pinky toe, punch under his, under his arm, or under his leg over your own arm. Make a fist. Keep your elbow tight to your body, your right elbow. And then you roll his toes, okay? So we're here, I'm gonna pass, I land, he comes up, oh, okay. And once you're here, his leg is trapped. It's really like the perfect toe hold position. There's not, there's not much you can do to get out of this. It's, it's pretty much a done deal. And if you've ever been caught in that, it's just like, you got me. There's not much I can do about it, right? All good, any questions? And again, the thing we're trying to simulate with these toe holds is when you come up for a rebound in basketball and you fall and roll your ankle, that's what you're trying to do to their ankle. That roll right there, if you've ever rolled your ankle like that, that's the feeling you're trying to simulate. Cool? One, two, three. What's up guys? If you like that, please smash the like button, tap the subscribe button to support the channel, and then let me know in the comments what you want to see next.